Hi, I am here in my kitchen. We did another um, grocery run to our favorite local, um, uh, what do you call that? Supermarket. <laughs> New Leaf Community Market um, down in the Santa Cruz area of California. So, in keeping with the trying to um, eat foods that are, or, you know, produce and stuff like that, it's in season and not just like, oh, let's just buy up a bunch of stuff and then have it like sitting around in the freezer and on the shelves. Um, we're trying to like, I do shopping, weekly shopping. I mean, well, we kind of end up, you know, doing big shopping and then, you know, my husband still kind of has to, you know, make a couple of runs during the weekday for like maybe stuff like milk or, um, you know, like more kombucha or stuff like that or like bread because we kind of go through that quite a bit. But just like um, bigger things like whatever meats and, and vegetables and stuff like that that we may get that we can't pick up from the farmer's market. Um, we're just trying to keep that like, okay, we'll get whatever you're going to cook for the week or whatever and then, you know, like next week we'll pick up some other stuff. So, uh, let's get started. So, of course, you know, this is, this right here is a, um, a treat cereal, Puffin' Puffs, <laughs> uh, for the Daughters of Destiny. And here are my ingredients. I don't know if that's like coming in or not. Is that showing up? Or is this just acting totally funky? Maybe have to kind of back it up a little bit. But anyway, so those ingredients and that. Um, this is like our version of Cheerios, whole and oats. So Okay, for some reason now my camera does not. Ah, there we go. Focus. I picked this up for myself. Um, mango peach passion. You know, sometimes I'm like in the mood for um, for a cereal and milk. Okay, so I'm like totally having trouble focusing. So, and my uh, favorite next to the flour that we buy off the internet is um, Bob's uh, Red Mill. I go through a lot of flour here. Yes, and another one of my favorites, my chocolate hazelnut milk. Yes. I picked up a small thing of um, uh, mayonnaise because I'm going to make some, um, some tuna. Oh, there we go. I had to maybe get a little closer. So, I got that. Of course, my life is not complete without lavender sugar. Because I bake a lot. Here are like a, um, a couple of cans of, um, of tuna that I picked up. Um, what's in here like for some uh, tuna sandwiches. And my son is at my feet taking stuff out of the grocery bags and like throwing it on the floor. So, uh, some coconut palm sugar. So, I'm going to, oh, um, cantaloupe. Yes, it's organic. I got a couple of those. Um, we didn't get a chance to go to the farmer's market this Thursday, so I had to pick up my, um, my berries and stuff like that. Um, from the store. So here's some bananas. Yummy for a smoothie. Okay. My son's walking off with uh, some of the stuff that I got. Um, here's some mangoes. Great for just slicing up for fruit or like for putting in smoothies. Uh, here is, of course, you know, my life. Y'all know how I roll. My life ain't right. Here's another, um, whatever you call this melon. What do you call that? Honeydew. Honeydew, do, do. My, um, unsweetened almond milk. 
and the girls the vanilla hemp milk so that's that's for them they just kind of drink it it's like a treat drink well it, it actually is a treat drink for them yes my signature throwing of the bag now I make spaghetti sauce quite a bit because that's like one of my go-to meals so what I typically do is get the sauce um, get the tomato sauce in a jar and then you know just add like whatever um, fresh vegetables that I'm going to put in my sauce and then you know like let it simmer or whatever and make it that way so this time instead of getting sauce in a jar um, I am going to actually make the tomato sauce with tomatoes so um, I have these vine tomatoes I got quite a bit of them I mean I don't know I would just put them in because I know you need a lot of tomatoes to make tomato sauce so like here's like one bag of vine tomatoes that I got I mean I, I, my little organic bag just like it's like totally tearing up so this is pretty heavy so here's one bag and oh I got a bunch more but I just don't know where they are um, I got some little curly kale I got some um, the little rainbow um, carrots because the girls like carrots and so does Amari so what I do is you know I like um, you know cut up the carrots and I boil them not like overcook them till they're like mushy and soft but I boil them just enough because you know like Amari he only has like a few teeth so you know his teeth aren't necessarily strong enough for him to be like chowing down on ca carrots because he doesn't have like molars or anything like that so I boil them um, and you know like I might put like a little sea salt in it and like maybe some little ginger seasoning kind of season up the water and then just like you know let them cool for a minute and you know put them out on the plate and the girls just they actually I think they enjoy it more than him he'll kind of like munch on some a little bit but you know it's cute you know little baby finger food so these little field rolls are like my new go to fake meat um, and this one is um, smoked apple so I take these and I crumble them up and I put them in um, my spaghetti sauce because these are like, I mean, they're really great. So it has a lot more flavoring than the grounds. Okay, focus. Why isn't that focusing? Why isn't my thing, okay, do, does my whole body have to come in to make it focus? Focus, focus, focus. That sucks. It's focusing on my... Ah, there we go. Okay, so you can see what's in that. So it has a lot more flavoring than, um, you know, just like getting the little ground. So, you know, have a slice, um, pack of sliced cheese or um, sandwiches. I like love these little, little soda things right here. So I, I got this for like, you know, party stuff. So, these are actually really good. Okay, what's in here? Uh, purified carbonated water, cane sugar, natural as um, extracts, um, foric, is this phosphoric, pho how do you say it? Phosphoric acid, is that right? And it's gluten free. Phosphoric acid? I hope I said that right. No, I can't read. I'm illiterate. My English not good. Okay, so I got one of those. Of course, some more kombucha. Black label. What does that black label mean? The original formula before the United States <laughs> uh, took them off the shelf. Um, I got a little hot cereal for the babes. Some um, uh, wheat farina, or AKA cream of wheat. Um, I got some mozzarella from fresh mozzarella cheese, so I'm just going to kind of like slice some of that up, um, like with a little balsamic vinegar, or some more kombucha, and like some basil. Oh, my favorite, raw honey, healing springs kombucha. Yum. 
So here's some more of the fresh mozzarella. So like I slice it up. You know how when you go to the Italian restaurants, they have the you get it as an uh, appetizer, the sliced um, mozzarella. Mir, um, don't do that, honey. Uh, I can't remember my kid's name. I got some money. So you know how like they slice up the fresh mozzarella like with basil and um, tomato and it's like in like some drizzling olive oil with like a little salt and pepper or you know maybe a little balsamic vinegar or something like that. So I um I got that because the girls like to eat that. Some my unsalted butter, you know, for like my baking and stuff, and you know whipped butter for like pancakes and different things like that for the babies. Um, here's some uh, staple, some sliced ham. So another YouTuber, um, Rocky, whose channel that I'm subscribed to, did a tutorial on some, um, well she did it with like turkey bacon and wrapping the turkey bacon in asparagus and I was like, I, I gotta try that. So picked up some asparagus but um I have the prosciutto so I'm gonna do that with the um I'm gonna have the asparagus wrapped in prosciutto and you know bake it off in the oven and then have it with the sliced um mozzarella and tomato and basil and you know that you know pretty much that's that's a meal right there so at least it could be for us so here's another pack of um, prosciutto. So I was looking. Here we go. I was looking for the ingredients in here. Okay. So it's like no sugar in there or anything. Okay. Yeah. Watch that. You buy like lunch meat. You know, you buy some like sliced turkey meat and you know, there's like sugar in it. Like, what's up with that? So, oh my goodness. Oh, yes. Heavy bags. So, I'm into, um, so we buy, this is how we buy our maple syrup. Yeah, in a big fat, one of those mason jars. Um, <laughs> uh, which is actually like really good. This is in the refrigerated section. And of course, you know, my little spaghetti that I get. Uh, what's in my spaghetti? There you go. That's what's in my spaghetti. Um, and Daddy picked some of this up, Mister. Some um, date syrup. So. Ingredients, organic dates and water. I could probably make this. Because we like, we're always buying dates. Um, yes, and here comes the raw milk. Yeah, because that's how we roll. And yeah, you know, I got about 10 of those. And some cream, you know, in case I feel the urge to, you know, make some gelato. This is a little treat. For the ladies, some strawberry lemonade. What's in here? Okay. So, here's my other cream right here. So, I like to keep those. I mean, like, who keeps stuff around just in case they have the herbs and make some gelato? <laughs> Um, oh, my tomatoes. Um, here's some more whole and oat cereal. Yeah, we go through cereal around here. So, these are some little tea light candles that I got for my, um, my oil infusers. Oh, the micro food bars. The girls actually really like, they love those. They like their father. Some more of my, um, asparagus for the, um, prosciutto wrapped asparagus and some more of my um filled roast baked meat vital gluten i think it's in here yes chai tea 
So, what's in here? Yeah, and if I could find where it is, I would show you. Um, but I can't. So you just have to use your imagination of, you know, what comes in chai tea. I know it's on here somewhere, but because, like, I don't see it. So this is actually pretty good. So one yogurt, I think Daddy might have gotten that. Um, and a couple of apples, you know, for him to eat. So here is another bag of tomatoes. I have, I got like a, I got a ton of tomatoes. So I, I hope I got enough. So there's some more kombucha over here. And some, um, I think Daddy picked this up, some fresh ginger soda. And here's his favorite, um, kombucha. Yes, and you see that? Yes, mommy had to slice this because guess what little almost 11 month old boy got inside the bag and started eating mango skin and all. Yeah, Mark. So, um, I got a garlic for my um, spaghetti. Here's another um, one of those micro food bars. Some um, blueberries. So, I like, you know, what I'll do is like if I slice up fruit, like sometimes for the breakfast in the morning for the girls and I like you know drop some blueberries around it, or like I'll put it inside of um, some smoothies so oh I got some more kale um, I was thinking of maybe like you know doing some kind of kale salad with um I forgot to get raisins but like so you know like chop up the kale um, and then you like drizzle uh, it in just a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil, kind of like rub it in the leaves raw. You don't cook it or anything like that. And you just let it sit, you know, for maybe about 30 minutes. And then you can add whatever other seasonings to it that you want. Like if you want to do like a lemon vinaigrette dressing or, you know, balsamic vinegar or, you know, like add like maybe a little honey to it. Here's some more spaghetti or something like that. It's actually a really yummy salad. Look at my basil. Look at that. I mean, look at this basil. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I mean, that's, this, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So, yeah, some of this is going to be going into the spaghetti sauce as well. It's just, you know, eating fresh. Just like that. Some more blueberries. Some more blueberries. Yeah. Oh, I think I like totally crushed the strawberries. Yes. We didn't get to go to market. The market, I swear, they have like the. I mean, you know, really, people, you know, check out your local farmers markets because they have some of the the best and other micro bar and freshest. Um, got some ginger here to also put inside the um, spaghetti sauce. They have some of uh, an onion. The market has some of the freshest, you know, yummiest fruit and vegetables around. I mean, not saying that this isn't good, but it's, it's nothing like when you're at your farmer's market. When you're just getting it, like, you know, fresh picked and stuff, like, you know, direct, no middle person or anything like that, direct from the farm into your kitchen. Nothing beats it. Like, I mean, these strawberries smell great. Okay, I'm like licking strawberry juice. But the ones that we get from the market, they're just like, they don't, they, they do not last. I mean, my girls like literally, you know, they can eat a whole flat of strawberries in like a day or two. I mean, like even Amari gets in on it where he's like ramming little strawberries in his little mouth, staying up carpets and walls from, um, you know, strawberry juice and stuff. <laughs> so... What's this? It's falling out of my bag. Oh, I got some um some plums here. So just to kind of give you a quick peek of like what these look like. So, so I got a bunch of those. 
And what's this? Tomatoes. I'm telling you, it tastes like it tastes a lot of tomatoes to make tomato sauce. I ain't even gonna lie. I hope I got enough. So I got like this bag right here, this bag, and so I got these four big bags of um <laughs> you know tomato sauce. So I like really hope that I got enough tomatoes. Cause that would like really suck if I didn't. You know, oh I made some almost fresh tomato sauce because I had to add some <laughs> I had to add some jar sauce to my fresh tomatoes. I didn't have enough. And this heavy bag right here is this we got like six things six more things of um raw milk so yes why do we drink raw milk i mean well we shouldn't really be drinking milk anyway because you know it's better to drink milk from not to drink other animal milk um but the reason that we get the raw milk is because it doesn't have like any of the hormones or you know chemicals and different things that they like inject into the cows to like um you know make them produce a lot more milk so that you know their profit margins are bigger um so it's just basically you know like if you had a cow like out you know in your yard if you live someplace where you lived on a lot of acres and maybe where you had like chickens or you know a cow or something like that so it's just like you know you getting the milk and i don't know how to milk a cow and just you know taking the cow directly from the milk um taking the milk excuse me directly from the cow and you know bringing it to your table so and i don't know you can't really tell in this one but a lot of times like where you can see like where the cream has settled at the top of it if i open this you can see how really thick it is so like you know when you get like the heavy cream and stuff like that that they separate out from the you know like the regular pasteurized or homogenized or whatever milk um you know you get all of that in the milk so this is isn't necessarily as white as the other milk it has more of a creamy yellowish tinge to it and then when you go to heat it up you see like a lot of the fat and stuff that's still in here so you know like they say milk does the body good but you know if you take all the fats and stuff out of it this really has no nutritional value to it but of course you know you tell your doctor they'll say oh you know don't drink because you know you're going to get like salmonella or something you know and then you have that one person that'll say like oh you know my cousin Mumu died from milk poisoning from you know raw milk or something uh cantaloupe this actually smells really good so i got a couple of these i meant to get watermelon but i totally forgot so i got a couple of those and daddy picked up a little extra treat for the girls some um little vanilla almond milk and i think i had another bag oh maybe that was it so got a lot more fresh veggies fruits and veggies a lot more um you know living food so you know we didn't do too bad we actually did we actually did really good <laughs> we did, we did. so um you know so this is like for about maybe a week's worth of food uh, we didn't get any eggs or anything like that because we like to get the happy eggs uh, the ones where the eggs come in a wide variety of colors, not just white or just all perfectly brown. Some of them are kind of sage greenish, super white to off white to, you know, dark brown to kind of a light brown. And we have to go over into San Francisco, Francisco to get those eggs because only certain stores, you know, sell certain things. So, um... This oh we got thirty dollars back from our milk bottle re returns um, at a dollar fifty each so yeah we go through a lot of milk around here so this is yeah here we go. That's how much money we spent. Um, so 
I will probably do a video on, um, you know, <laughs> making uh, tomato sauce or like pasta sauce with actual, you know, real tomatoes and, you know, we can see how that turns out together. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.